Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Prototech Giant and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to show you how you can control your PlayStation 5 and other devices simply by using your LG Magic Remote Control. Now for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using my 65 inch LG G3 OLED, but this feature will work on many other LG TVs. Right, let's crack on then. And first up, what I'm gonna do is show you how to control your PlayStation 5. And in order to do this, we need to change some settings on the TV. So grabbing our remote control, what we're gonna do is hold down on the settings button for a long press. After we've done that, we're gonna go down to general, then go on down to external devices. Now once in here, we wanna to go to HDMI settings. Now once in HDMI settings, we can see Simplink, and what we need to do is toggle that to on. Now we've done that, what I'm gonna do is fire up my PlayStation 5, and grabbing my remote control, I'm gonna press on the inputs button, and select PlayStation 5 Game Console. Now the PlayStation 5 is all fired up. We can see that the PS5 controller actually works as you'd expect, but the LG Remote currently does nothing. So what we need to do is go to the settings on the PlayStation, and we need to head on down to System. Once in System, we wanna go down to HDMI. Once in HDMI, we can see enable HDMI device link and we wanna to toggle that on. So if we back out of that now, once again, we can see that the PlayStation 5 controller does work, but let's bring in the LG Magic Remote and now, there we go. Look at that, we can navigate all through those menus. Press enter, go down, select anything we want. That is really handy, especially if your PS5 controller dies, at least you can navigate around the menus. So that is really handy. Right, moving on now then, and as I explained earlier, this does work on other devices as well. So I'm gonna plug in my Apple TV box, and we're gonna test it on there. So I've just turned it on, and what I'm gonna do is grab my Magic Remote, press, on the inputs button and hopefully we can see it pop up just there so uh, any second now it should kick in a life and there we go it's popped up so if we now click on that and we grab our magic remote it should now work let's try it out then yep and there you go navigate around those menus that is great. Next up, I'm gonna show you how you can get this working on other devices such as a DVD player or a soundbar or many other things for that matter. So what we're gonna do is grab our Magic Remote again and uh, I'm gonna highlight that Apple TV box out. I'm gonna to go to Universal Control Settings. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, go to that Apple box there, down to Manage Settings, and just for now, I'm just gonna delete those settings off. So as far as the TV's concerned, it doesn't recognize that Apple TV box. Now, if I go down to Manage Settings again, what we can see is it says Manage Settings, the universal control settings has not been set. Click Start Setting to begin setting. You can retrieve the settings of the connected device by pressing View Settings History. So I'm gonna to go to Start Settings. So now we're in the Universal Control Settings. It says select the device that you want to connect to your TV. So we've got a few options here. So we've got Set Top Box, Blu-ray Player, so on and so forth. So obviously the TV doesn't recognize that Apple box at the moment. So I'm gonna say it is a Blu-ray Player. Let's just click on that and click on Next. Now it says select device manufacturer. So as you can see, we've got a whole host of them here. So LG, Best Buy, Bush, Cambridge Audio, so on and so forth. So what we would do next is select the device. So let's just say it's a LG Blu-ray player. We click on that and click on next. Now it's saying test preparation. Make sure that the connected device is powered on. Place a connected device in the same direction as the front of the TV. Point the remote control at the device and run your test. So what we would do now is press start test. And now what it says is select the power button below and check that the button works properly on the Blu-ray player screen on the right. So obviously, like I said, it's not a Blu-ray player, we know that. But if I was to press power, if it was to work, it should turn off. If it doesn't, you just say, no, it doesn't. And then it would give you another option and you just keep going through that until it eventually powers off and you know it will work. 
And then at that point, if you ever lose your Blu-ray player remote control, or if you just want to slim down on the remote controls that you have, you could just use that one LG Magic Remote. And there you go. That is a great way of making extra use of your LG Magic Remote Control. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, I am doing a dedicated tips and tricks video for LG OLED TVs. And trust me, it's going to be a cracker. And if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do me a massive favor. Think of it as leaving me a tip. Simply reach up and hit that thumbs up button. So thanks very much for joining me today. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.